Hello and welcome to the Parkfield YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do sidechain compression on the Teenage Engineering OP1. Just to clarify, I'm talking about actual sidechain compression coming from an external audio signal. I'm not talking about the workaround where you go to the tremolo LFO, choose a sloped triangle wave and sync it to the tempo of the track. That workaround has been documented quite extensively on the internet already, and I've provided a few links to that trick in the information on this YouTube video. So here's how to do real sidechain compression on the OP1. Step one, add a line input from an external source. For this demonstration, my line input's coming from the audio from my laptop's DAW but you could just as easily use any line input you wanted. If you're on the go, you could use your smartphone. Step two, choose a beat that you want to use to modify the compressor. I've chosen a 140 BPM drum loop as follows. Step three, go to the input select mode on the OP1 by holding down the shift key and pressing the microphone button. Make sure that the input is set to the line in icon using the blue encoder. Once you've done this, kick off the external drum loop. You can adjust the input levels using the orange and white encoders. Step four, select the patch that you want to apply the sidechain compression to. With the patch selected, you now want to activate the element LFO on that patch. To do this, you press shift and the four button to make sure that the LFO selected for the patch is the element LFO, and you adjust this using the blue encoder. After making sure that the element LFO is selected, go into the details of the LFO itself by pressing the button labeled 4. There are a couple of things to check here. Firstly, you want to make sure that the source of the LFO itself is the line input, and you do this using the blue encoder to ensure that you get the microphone icon. Secondly, make sure that the destination is set to FX, and you do this by switching the white encoder. Thirdly, you want to make sure that the parameter destination, or P destination, is set to blue, and you do this by adjusting using the orange encoder. Lastly, the amount setting can be changed using the green encoder, and you can adjust this as you see fit, depending on how you want it to sound. After setting up the element LFO, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that the effect on this patch is the compressor. To do this, Press shift and the three button and select the effect using the blue encoder until the punch is selected. To actually go to the punch effect, press the three button. Now we're ready to actually hear some sidechain compression. If everything's set up correctly, this is what happens when you start playing that external drum track. Notice how the frequency of the compressor is being affected by the LFO. If you actually want to hear the drum track behind it, simply press the microphone key. You can play around with the parameters as you see fit. even adjust the amount by which the uh, LFO is being uh, affected by the drum track in the background by pressing shift and four, sorry, by pressing four and then using the green encoder to alter the amount by which the uh, frequency is getting uh, altered by the LFO. Once you're happy with the way it's all set up, you can record something. Let's go to the tape track. Firstly, make sure that the tempo is the same as the tempo of the uh, drum track which is modifying the LFO. Once you're happy, you want to audition everything and make sure that everything is coming through as expected. Make sure that you kick off the recording on the OP1 tape track as the external drum loop comes back around to the beginning of its cycle. Now let's bring in the external drum track. Sorry. 
So there you have it. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions in the YouTube comments, and if you like what you saw, please click subscribe.